Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to tell you all about how I made my Oriana ball. The base that you'd like to start with would be a nice styrofoam ball. You can get those online or in store, but if you're like me and you can't find one that will ship to your country with reasonable shipping costs, you're going to be starting from scratch. So what I did is I went to the store and I got myself a nice playground ball. It was light, bouncy, full of fun, and we're gonna kill it. So. You want to wrap it up with Serena Wrap, the same way you would do if you were making templates for body armor. Wrap up the ball and cover it in masking tape. You're going to get something like this once you cut it all off. You only need to do half the ball because then you can just mirror it over and do the other half. We're going to be using these a little bit later. Once you have the ball, the first thing I did was layers and layers of paper mache, just something to start with. I covered the entire ball in it because later I knew that I was going to be slicing it in half anyway. After doing about five layers of paper mache over the course of a couple days, since you need time for it to dry, I started using duct tape. Got some layers of duct tape in there and then more paper mache and more duct tape. So it's time to sacrifice the ball. I took a knife, I jabbed it in, I popped the ball, and I cut it in half. So now I've got these two lovely halves. A wild cat has appeared. So we've got these two pieces, and they're kind of flimsy, so I needed to do something else to give it some sturdiness because the two halves of the ball needed to be quite rigid. I grabbed the fiberglass resin and I spread it all over the inside of both halves of the ball. I did two layers of that and while it was drying, I held it and I turned the pieces so that way not all of it sunk down into the bottom or sunk down to the edges. Next came the PVC pipe. I put this in an X shape so that way it holds the edges in and now I can't press and collapse it. Once the PVC pipe was in, I covered the outside of the ball in warbler using the pattern pieces that I cut out before I started paper macheing the ball. Trace these on top of the warbler, cut it out, and then put it on the ball making sure that everything stuck together really nice and that there was no bumps and overlapping. On top of the warbler, I put craft foam right here along the top and bottom of the ball, as well as the edges. Just a line of regular craft foam, whatever color you like. And on top of everything, I put fiberglass resin. While doing the warbler and fiberglass, I made sure to cut out a circle and leave room so that way I could do the front headlight of the ball here. Trying to cut this out after you put the fiberglass on would be really difficult. If you want a hole through it for anything, make sure that you do it before the fiberglass. Next came the details. You can see that there's a lot of them all over the top and bottom of the ball. I drew all of these on by hand using reference and I covered it in puffy 3D paint. I used a variety of colors for this paint and when it dries, it dries bumpy, which is exactly what I wanted. Once all the details were dry, it was ready for painting. So the ball comes in two pieces. The X's of PVC pipe are not only for strength, but they're what I used to make it so that the ball could come apart and together. This right here, these little pieces that are sticking out are made out of EVA foam. And in each of them, I have a little slit cut. And that's where the PVC pipe on this half of the ball slides in. So when I put the two pieces together, I line it up so that it's not exactly center. Like this. You can see how it's off center there. And to close the ball and make it so the two halves are one, I twist it shut and then you can't pull it up anymore because the PVC pipe has twisted into this part of the cutouts and it won't go up. The EVA foam has been reinforced with a bit of fiberglass resin just to make sure it didn't stretch or bend out of shape. So this is pretty rigid. So now we've got both halves of our Oriana ball, nice and sturdy and with a way for the pieces to lock together and come apart whenever you need. Thanks for watching.